Yeah, g'day. Stephen Kerry from OffTheGridNice.com Again. This is just one of those videos you make on a Monday night. It's cold as. Winter's about two days away, I think. One day away. We had some southwesterlies blowing today that were really, really chilly. I flapped off on a roof that was covered in ice this morning. I worked for the man and done all that stuff. But now it's like 5.30 in the afternoon. We got the fire going. How much emphasis do you put on your outdoor setup? Do you actually spend much time outside? I know it's freezing cold. You might have an arctic blast blowing. But how much time do you spend outside? How much of the, the winter? We actually spend a lot of winter outside. And that would probably make us weird. Look, we got Bruce playing. Look at this. And it turned up. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, I know. Because guess what? When I'm making a video like this, it's about fire pits. It's about how much time you spend outside through the cold months. It's a little bit of off-grid stuff, you know, you might be in a tin shed, you might be in a, you know, you might have a, a tent or a yurt or a caravan. How much time do you spend outside? We're, we've suffered a pretty cool day today, it was about like one degree. But at 5.30, we've got the fire going. <laughs> And we've got Bruce running. I probably should turn it up. Yeah. It's an old Bruce, Bruce Springsteen track, you know. I'm on fire. you got to listen to the words. And yeah, it may bore you to death, but the words are pretty good. But how much time do you actually use through the colder months? We use our fire pit, we just did, did a quick run around, picked up a whole heap of sticks, lit this, this bugger up, I nearly said the F word, I'm not going to say the F word. Oh yeah, Brucey. We're on fire. We don't let the winner get us down. Off grid's a tough time for a lot of people. You might be living in a little house, you might be living in a tin shed conversion. Winter is a tough time. But winter can be a good time. Winter can be something where you put your fire pit into action. Alright? You, you'd be amazed. It might only be 5 o'clock when you get home from whatever you're doing. But you can put a fire pit on and chew up a couple of good hours. A couple of good hours where you, you know, I can't, yeah, we've got no sunset going because I've left it too late. Because I worked for the friggin' man and did some chores. But yeah, off-grid can be really good, even in winter. You don't have to hide in your, your caravan or your tin shed. You stick a jacket on. I oh, know, we've got the spew tube running up there. Yeah, I know, I know. But that's not a big expense, right? Anyone can do that. It, it looks extravagant, but it's not. The bottom line is, how much of your winter time, and I know we're not quite in winter, but it's close, but how much of your winter time do you actually fucking put to use? And I said the F word, sorry. We, we actually pride ourselves. Kerry's got a really nice home Homegrown dinner is sitting on the wood fire inside, but we're outside. We had a lovely insulated, you know, building. If you watch the other videos, we got lots of good stuff inside. But we still sit outside for an hour or two in the evening and soak up the winter. The winter is a, a really difficult time. We're up, myself and Kerry, lock and load this. We're up in the mornings at like between 5:30 and 6:30. We're up every day every single day we don't sit inside oh we got ads oh god you don't want to listen to that i'll put a disclaimer up for ads but yeah you look you might have 
a day when it seems totally uncomfortable but throwing a jacket on and going outside into your your structure that you built that has a bit of an indoor fire pit like that is a damn good idea it's a way of making winter not necessarily feel like winter and that's the best way i can describe it you can you can run through winter and suffer it and hide or you can get some balls and go outside and stay outside for an extra couple of hours that people normally wouldn't do born to run ah, yeah yeah well it wouldn't be a incidental video without some incidental music ah good Bruce is pretty good actually pretty inspirational stuff we're only going to have this on for an hour because our silo took a booting over the last week we've got not much power in so our silo has actually taken a booting but we're prepared to put an hour into you know as far as the fire goes a couple of hours go scab some some twigs up light the fire and listen to a bit of music because winter should not lock you inside it should not depress you winter is a positive part of the whole process you have to embrace winter put that jacket on light that fire pit if you've got access to this sort of stuff throw a tune on and get inspired hang out there till seven o'clock at night when everyone's in hiding it's a really really good time to put it to use and I'm going to turn on, I'm going to make this a short one. And I'm going to turn Bruce up. Born to run. good track but yeah this video is about fire pits making the most of winter instead of hiding inside if you're new to this stuff you can build your fire pit put a building around it throw a very simple freaking TV up and enjoy a few hours of those evenings and those mornings where everyone's hiding in under the blanket we do not do that I love this stuff. That's what it's all about. You can't let winter put you down. You can't let it stop you from doing what you want to do. It may take a distilled water or two, but at the end of the day, you'll wind up with two hours of... We all are just the, the result of our memories. Our memories are everything from one day to the next. Memories aren't something you create over a year. They're what you create in every single day. And if you can have a day when you can light the fire pit and defy the temperature and then stick Brucey up there or whatever your, your preference is, it's a damn good day. So yeah, we're only one day from winter, or one and a half days from winter. I hope you take the, you know, the best that winter has to offer in all its pain. And do things that cause you to embrace winter and not hide from it. Winter isn't something you should hide from. Build yourself a fire pit, build yourself an outdoor, outdoor kitchen, maybe throw you know, your laptop outside or your iPhone outside, throw a tune up and go, I'm going to say the word, right? You have to be able to stand there and go, fuck you, winter. You're not going to make me cow tower and go inside and just sit around like a grandma. He goes, fuck you. I'm going to have a good time through winter. And myself and Terry, we will have a good time through winter. With fire pits, and whatever and yeah we got a house to go into that's already pre-warmed and we're not in there 
and I'm not making this just for the freaking video. It's what we do. It's what we've done for years and years and years. You have to embrace the winter and take the best from it. And on that note, I'm going to pan around and Kerry will be shocked. Bruce is pretty good. Gary! You're on screen. Do we embrace winter? Oh, well, we have to. I don't like winter. This is the only way to go. Is it not a good way to deal with winter? It's the only way to deal with it. It you is. gotta love it. You gotta love it even when you hate it. <laughs> that's it. I know you might be in territory that's snowed in. Uh, we still got Bruce going. Do you want to say bye bye, world? Bye, guys. <laughs> Have a good dinner. Where yes. are you going to? You see that? A couple of 60 year olds sitting in the dark with a fire pit going. That's what winter's all about. Don't be scared from winter. Take what winter has to offer and put it to use and create something where you'll get, even if it's only an hour or two a day, bloody use it. Put it to good use. And on that note, we've got another good track coming up. Oh, I love it. Do you love Bruce Springsteen or not? I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to shut the frig up. So I said frig and not the other word. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's cheers. This is a winter fire pit thing. One day or two days away from full blown winter. I'd like to encourage new people to be able to go with, well, if a couple of 60 year olds can sit around the fire pit and soak up the winter and see a positive side to it without going, oh, it's too cold then you might want to think about the glory days, hey! I oh, know that had nothing to do with it, but that's never, uh, never mind. Hope you like Bruce Springsteen. I'll probably get slammed on YouTube for it. We have actually been slammed for using these tracks in the background. But yeah, that's the way it goes. Anyway, cheers from us. Hope you've had a good almost winter, winter day. Use winter in a positive way. It's a bit, it's cold, a fingers ache. But you too can light a fire pit and soak up a little bit of winter and turn it into a positive. Hey, you gotta love that. Anyway, you can subscribe or like or not don't care. A bit of inspiration, a bit about fire pits, a little bit, a little bit about winter, and all the people out there off grid without a million dollar setup. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cheers from me and Kerry. I'm off the grid. Nose.com. That's it for now. The short video. Hope you take it for what it's meant by, which is purely to, to not get scared from winter. Throw some jackets on, light the fire, light the fire pit, soak up the heat, create your own heat. That's what Off Grid's all about. Create your own heat, create your own environment, create everything. If you don't create it yourself, no one is going to give it to you. And that's the point. Or you will be sitting at a bar somewhere dreaming about those glory days, all right? The glory days can go forever if you choose to do it. And that's us. I'm going to turn it off now. You might want to hear the rest of glory days, but that's not going to happen. Hope you had a good one. Hope it was productive. Hope you're thinking positive. Go outside, grab some sticks. 
throw a fire pit together with some rocks. Soak up the winter, embrace it. It's a bitch. I worked through it today and I'll live through it tonight. In another hour, I'll be going inside. So, hope yours was good. I can't emphasize this enough. You need to take everything that comes your way off grid. The good weather, the bad weather, the good times, the bad times. You need to make the effort, suffer, do the hard yards, the whole bit. But you can make the best out of the weirdest stuff, all right? Now, it might be a, fr a freezing cold. We had one degree this morning. That's not the coldest, but we had one degree. And you can even make the best of that if you choose to do that. It's all about the shit that runs between your ears, the thinking. And on that note, subscribe, like, or otherwise, you know the drill. There's lots of Bruce coming. I'm going to listen to the rest of it without the freaking camera running. So I'll leave it at that. And that's it, guys. Another useless eight minutes of your life that you will never recover. Sorry for today? using your bandwidth up, but you know. Diego, I had to do it. Winter's a bit of a bitch of a thing, you know. People get all bitter and twisted about winter. You gotta embrace it. You gotta actually make the best of it. Like everything off grid. You gotta make the best of it. And on that note, again, for the third time, cheers from us. We'll catch you on the next one. Kerry's gone inside to check the dinner. We had a great one pot one to go in there. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.